So today I'm gonna do a little gun leather review and show you some of the, the gun belts that I have worn in the last year in, in videos and so forth. Uh, the first belt I'm gonna start with is this. I've only worn this a couple of times. This is a, basically a cowboy action rig that I made five, six years ago. And it's, it's much like a traditional Western, old West holster uh, in its design. It has no fast draw characteristics. Cowboy action is not fast draw. A lot of people, people get that confused. Uh, fast draw is a totally different sport. In cowboy action, they draw on the start signal, but most of the stage, the time is in shooting the stage, not the draw. So the draw is typically going to be one second or more with it with a cowboy action rig, which is actually quite slow. But the gun, the gun, uh, the gun sits in there. It, like I said, it has no cutaways for the fingers that would uh, uh, allow fast draw or, or offset. It's not offset, so the, the gun fits tight to your side like a real Western holster. So, so in that sense, cowboy action is really the most authentic type of, of uh, leather rig to wear. But this is my cowboy action rig, rig that I made, and uh, nothing fancy, but that's, that's to describe the difference between fast draw and not fast draw. This is not a fast draw holster and neither I or anyone else can really draw that fast out of these. It's made for carrying the gun. Uh, the second holster, my daughter made this, and I've only worn this in one video. It's a, it's, it's a copy, she tried to copy uh, uh, Angel Eyes uh, rig in Good, Bad, and the Ugly, and, and, uh, and this is her 18, 1858 revolver in there, like in the movie. And I think she did a great job at it, of it. Again, it's not it's not a fast draw holster. Uh, you can do like a one second draw, maybe would be pretty fast with this. And now moving on to the fat the first fast draw rig I ever made, the only one I've ever made is this one. I featured this on another video thirty years ago. Uh, I modeled this after. Bob um, Munden's rig on, his, on the video that he made as much as I could. I mean, it's not exact. It's got a lot of errors in it, but it is a true fast draw holster. It's got the cutaways for the fingers. It's got a, a significant offset so that when you when you draw it, the gun is clear of your side, and you need that to, to fast draw to fast to, to draw very quickly. You you can't be hitting your your hand in here on the holster as you're drawing. So that is. The fast draw holster that I made, that's what a real fast draw holster looks like. It's getting hammered from me doing the triple shot off the hip there. It's getting beat up. This is a rig I used for that. Um, anyway, that's my, it's got, oh, the other thing, it's got the leg loops. That's critical for a fast draw holster. You need the, the, the double leg loop. That way the, the holster is held down firmly when you draw. And it doesn't want to ride up on your leg as, as the gun comes out. Like, like you can see it happening right there a little bit. So that's my fast draw holster. And when my YouTube channel went big here last January, I decided to, to uh, spoil myself and get exactly what I wanted in a fast draw rig because I knew this one wasn't perfect, had a lot of problems. Even though it functioned well, I wanted a, a professionally made rig. And so I contacted uh, Davis Leather in Arizona and had them make me this one. And uh, I told him on the phone, my whole story, and I said, uh, I really want, I, I want your best work, the best thing you can do, exactly what I want. I made a video for him where I, I measured my body over the clothing, exactly where the holster would ride, and the, the, the belt line and everything where it would ride. And I said, if if uh, if this runs more more money than what you quoted me, just add on the bill. I got no problem with that. I mean, I just, I basically gave him a blank check. Do this, your best job and uh, I'll, I'll be happy, I don't care what, what the bill is. And uh, this is a beautiful rig. It's, it's made in the tradition of uh, real competition fast draw. It's very much like a Bob Munden rig in, in function. The, the belt is nice and stiff. Uh, uh, it's a double layer of leather with skin on the, on the, both on the inside and the outside. Um, the holster is steel lined. It's got, it's got the clearances for the fingers for fast draw. It's got it's got the perfect offset. It's actually not offset as much as the one I made, but it's offset perfectly for my hands to just just clear. So I mean, the trick is for these rigs, they 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 made them look very much like a traditional holster or a Western 
uh, movie holster, uh, but still be capable of fast draw. In other words, having enough clearance to, to get to that gun and get it out quickly. And, and the holster has all that really, really well, you know. Um, unfortunately, every single dimension on this, every single measurement that I gave him is wrong. And uh, starting out with with where the where I put it on, I, I gave my measurement. I haven't gained weight when I got the when I got the rig. Um, I could just barely make the last loop here, you know, on the measurement that I gave him. And uh, to me, that's not, you know, you should. If I give you a measurement, it should be in the middle somewhere, so I could gain or lose a couple of pounds, you know. But it was it was right here. In fact, I could barely squeeze it on. So I dunked the belt in water for like a minute, and then I put it on for a long day and put it over another belt, and I just kept stretching it and stretching it. And I got, I got to where I can just make, I think, the third loop now after stretching it. And, you know, if that was the only error, I'd, I'd be okay with it. You know what I mean? I mean, people make mistakes. So now I can get it on just barely to there, and it's tight at that point. But uh, the distance between the, the, where the holster is mounted on the belt and the buckle is way too great. And so if I put the, belt, the buckle in the middle of my body, the holster is clear back here. If I put the holster where it's supposed to be, then the buckle is way over here. And you'll see that in the videos because this distance is way too long. And the only explanation I have for that is when he... You know, I, I can't remember the waist measurement I gave him. I think it was like 36, 38 over the pants below the belt. Okay, so it's, it's, it's bigger than a waistline measurement because the belt doesn't ride right on your waist. It rides below your waist. Uh, all I can think of is he took all the length off the buckle side. And so this was left the size of a big, big fat guy. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of was the cause of that. Uh, which is that's you know I can't fix that I, you know that the there's a recess in the belt here so I can't just move the holster forward I mean there's no way to fix that the belt loops I get measurements on these I can barely make the last hole in the belt to me it should have been you know at least two up you know so the stitching um, some of the stitching is done wrong it, it's it's pulled through in several places I and mean, I saw so I don't know what happened there. You know, I thought about calling him and saying, hey, I got a problem. But I mean, the whole thing is screwed up. And, and I just, when someone has that many errors, there's something wrong. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get something back I'm going to be happy with. So I'm, I'm not happy with this rig. Um, there's too many things wrong with it. The overall design is really, really good. But uh, I, I wasn't happy with it. The, the other thing is the holster itself was kind of a one size fit all. I mean, he asked me to use a, use a Vicaro or a single action army. He said single action army. And the gun was really loose in there. I mean, a Vicaro would have dropped right in there. And, and, it, and it, the way it sat in there, it was canted down. So even though the holster has a forward rake on it, when, when the gun was in there, the gun was pointed at my leg. So I, I put this in a vise. I reshaped the metal and I got the gun to fit more with the barrel parallel down there. So, I mean, even the holster to me it was thrown together. I asked him for a custom rig and I got this standard rig, I guess, you know. But anyway, so I moved on and I started looking on the internet for for uh, uh, Western holster rigs, fast draw rigs. Um, and I found uh, Old West Trading Post. And Mike is a guy that, that owns and runs that. And I ordered this rig. This is their, their version of the, the Pale Rider rig from the movie and it, it's not it's not really like the, the movie it isn't but it's a it's to me it's a rig with just enough bling on it without being going over the top you know and I just really like the look of it so I ordered this this rig from them uh, a month or so after I gave up on this one and um, it was gonna be uh, like a three-month wait and I, I described to him how important this was for me and everything and and Mike called me up because I want to make really sure I got the measurements right this time after what happened there. I mean, I made him a video and everything. So I got Mike on the phone and we talked at length about how to measure this and, and everything. And, and uh, so I gave him all of that and then I placed the order and then like a month went by and I, you know, I was getting anxious waiting for it. And I started looking up reviews on Old West, Old West Trading Post 
and I saw a whole series of bad reviews that oh it takes forever to get your stuff it, it, it's not on time and all it got so bad I was like man this is really a lot of negative reviews on this I'm, I'm worried about this so I sent Mike an email I said Mike man I don't know this this looks bad um, I, I'd really like to cancel the order because I don't want to wait three months and not get it you know and so Mike called me back that night and he assured me that all those negative reviews were from the shortages during the, the pandemic thing. And there was a lot of shortages in, in everything. You know, any, any business was hurting, you know. And he said, is it, that's, it's, it's, there was sort of supply chain shortages. He said, the guy that makes these for me, he's, he's not behind schedule. We will get this to you by, by the third week of May. He said, I promise you we'll get you by get you this by the third week of May, and he does excellent work. I said, okay, okay, I'll uh, I'll wait in. I'll trust you. I hope this works out. And I and I had my fingers crossed. He got this to me second week of May. Mike did what he said he was gonna do. And it's a beautiful rig, it's very well made. It's not a fast draw holster, it's it's what they call a, a Hollywood fast draw holster, and this is model after the style of the the, what you saw in the Western movies. It's not authentic in Old West because it's a it's it's, it's a drop it's a drop down Buscatero Buscadero type rig. But it's and it has some fast draw characteristics. You see, it's got the cutaways for the fingers, but it's not offset more than just a little bit. So it's really not offset enough for true fast draw. But it's just got a tie down here instead of the, the two belt loops. You know, but this is what they wore in the Western movies. You never saw this. This was not in a Western movie ever. So this, for Western movies, this is what this was the look. You know, and I just I really like the the overall look of it, the bling and stuff. It's got this back here is a it's an imitation um, um, cylinder holder for what was in the movie, but it's it's not real because these aren't large enough you know to actually hold anything. So they're just for looks. And, uh, but that's cool with me because I mean I'm, I'm not into the cap and ball thing anyway you know but so but anyway I'm really happy this this rig um, it's not absolutely perfect and no rig is and I'm kind of a perfectionist I'm picky I think you can tell that already but uh, I'm very happy with it and Mike Mike kept his word and it got here a week ahead of time and I'm really happy with it I think I might uh, I think I might add the double leg loops to this holster because this the tie down doesn't work very good you know it, it doesn't hold the gun down very good and it gets loose if you walk around it cuts into your leg you know so i'll probably replace that but uh and i, I might do some alterations to make it into a true fast draw holster that i'd have to bring up a little bit more offset like that and then this would be a, fat, a real fat fast draw holster you know so anyway that's my plans on that uh that's my gun leather review I hope this answers some of the questions you guys might have and some and increase your understanding about fast draw uh, the speed really comes from the rig more than the gun you know the, the guns altered and all that but we, even with a race gun if you have a, a traditional holster you can't draw fast you know the holsters designed to let go of the gun to give you the gun quickly you know and uh, but there's all different kinds of, of sports. You know, you can do cowboy action. You don't want one of these. You want one of these because you're going to hold the gun securely as you run to the next part of the stage or whatever. And in fast draw, it's optimized for doing what it says, drawing fast. So that's my gun, gun leather review. And thanks for watching.